Okay! Well, here we go! Welcome everybody to Wallace and Gromit, the fright of the bumblebees, wow! It's a play on words. I was sitting there last night, I was talking to a friend, I was like, what the, what the hell do I have to play tomorrow? And they said pretty boring shit, play Skyrim, Rob, that'll be funny. The 6,000th, more like 600,000th person that plays Skyrim on stream. I said, no, I bought Wallace and Gromit, I'm playing Wallace and Gromit, that's what's happening. I bought this months ago, when it was on Steam sale for like two bucks. I was like, what is this? I've never seen this. I have to play it. Yeah, how's it going, everybody? Let me know, is the audio okay? Is that fine? Excited to get into this. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, cheese, Gromit! Cheese, Gromit! You ain't want no damn cheese. Is everyone's, everyone's day gone good? I'm gonna be doing some filming today. I'm gonna get some uh, 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 filming done. Is it still windy? Oh, it's not too bad, actually. It looks like it's gonna be a good day. Uh, hopefully not too hot, because it's when I film, I have to keep the doors closed, so it gets pretty warm. I don't want to look all sweaty and gross on camera. It's our video game, Gromit! Gromit! Let's, let's, let's just start a game. Oh! Tutorial, start game, or back. We don't need a tutorial! <laughs> Who needs a tutorial? I've actually just gotta skip it, screw it. This is a Telltale game. So, I, I think it should be fairly intuitive. Ah, oh, look at that. Gromit! A hawk has snagged the, the lure, Gromit! It's flying around in pain, Gromit! I shouldn't have thrown it up so high. Oh, hello, B. So, you know, if you somehow don't know about Wallace and Gromit, it's all about Wallace and Gromit having wacky adventures. Mainly due to Wallace's inventions. Sometimes not, but most of the time, yes. Rodent Rodent, uh, Robot Rodent Ravages Shop. I... It's probably Wallace's. Again. Yo, is that a pumpkin? The Merry Hives of Windsor. Even feels like a... Oh, Wallace and Gromit. Breakfast time, Gromit! That did not sound like Wallace. <laughs> Oh shit! I get to play. Yo, it's me! It's me, Gromit! <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to play as Gromit. Hello! It's me, Gromit! Huh? Away. Oh, shut up, Wallace. I don't give a shit. This is- today's the day. I say fuck you, Wallace. What's this? Yahoo! <laughs> that was really good timing! <laughs> Thanks, Bucko Pico! Sorry, I had to move my... Alright, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just taking a look at everything, Wallace. It's, it's, they've even got the textures on them as if they were actually, you know... But it's not low FPS. I think this is like the only game I would settle for being low FPS. Admire. Ah, yes. The day Wallace had to kill a bird. With his bare hands, he had to strangle it. Oh. Yahoo! Can you give me the fly swatter out? Alright. Let's get started then. No! Day today. You're asking your dog to pull a handle. <laughs> Thanks, Dynamic Deadpool, for also becoming a member. Oh, Paco Pico's been a member four months in a row, I'm sorry. Nothing, just my shit. Where are you going, Gromit? Drop me down! <laughs> How did you know? How did he know? I've got... webcams all throughout the house, Gromit! I hope you didn't do anything incriminating, Gromit. Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Another perfect landing. Your turn to make a <laughs> and toast 
with honey today. Step to it. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Oh my Jesus Christ. Oh. 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 Oh Jesus, that was. <laughs> Thanks, Florence, for the dollar. So many memories. Moon cheese, crackers, robot pants, evil penguins, weir rabbit, and bread. Don't forget the bread. Uh, thank you, Dr. 222, for becoming a member. Thank you, George, for the one pound 25 cents. I'll be Thanks right here if you need me, nursing me appetite. Oh, I see. They've even got the mouth animations, like, similar to the... Alright, so... It's definitely not Wallace's voice actor. But... I'd like to help you with breakfast, lad, but it's all part of your training. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Let's fucking slap him with some food. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to have to put the safety lock back on. <laughs> okay. Uh... Alright, so I'm, I'm making him breakfast, am I? So we'll go to the kitchen. That's fine. Oh, mail. I'll take that. This is well, great. Well, what did the postman bring us then? Any orders? Hand it over, lad. Uh, Gromit, where did you put that? He just shoved it inside his... He's got a kangaroo sack, I'm assuming. I'm not gonna say he shoved it inside his dog, Willy, because that would be horribly gross. The living room's out of bounds for now, Gromit. Had to use it for storage. Only temporary, mind. We'll need those crates once the orders start pouring in. Ah. Now, I, I've, I've put the volume up pretty high, uh, so you can hear all the characters speaking. Hope that's fine. Uh, if it's too loud or too quiet, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll change it. <laughs> Gromit's, like, legs don't look right. They really don't. Like, look at the way his knees are so high on the front of his legs. <laughs> what is going on? It looks He looks like a monster of some kind. Ugh. Oh, that's blue cheese. How the hell did you keep blue cheese right next to your bed? Yuck. Nothing. Eh, eh, eh. Don't push me buttons, Gromit. <laughs> Don't push me buttons, Gromit. Or I'll give you a mighty big slap. No. Gromit doesn't give a shit about that. Okay, let's... Oh. I wanna... I wanna look at everything. <laughs> he decided not to jump down. Okay. Ooh, what about the squash racket? Oh, I grabbed it for later. Nice, that's already a secret found. You won't find me breakfast up there, Gromit. That's fine, Wallace. Because I have found a squash racket that I can use to squish you. Did you bring the mail, Gromit? Oh. <laughs> oh, well, oh no. Final demand. I oh, well, oh, this payment due now. And a disconnection? Nothing but bills, Gromit. I can't look at these before I have my breakfast. If we don't find some steady customers soon, I don't know how we'll make ends meet. Oh, all right then. I'll open one, but just the one. Hmm. Seems your subscription to Marrow Growers Monthly is up for renewal. Don't suppose you'd consider cancelling? Thought not. Oh, better pay up then. Now, where did I put me pen? Ah, yes. Well, it's maybe if you spent more time, like, working rather than making these silly fucking contraptions. <laughs> Oh, okay, thank you uh, uh, for telling me that Wallace has been voiced by the original voice actor, Peter Salas, which, you know, makes sense, because he, well, he's, I don't know when this game was made, uh, but, yeah, he's, he's deceased, he has passed away. 
voiced by the current Wallace actor, uh, Ben Whitehead, who took over the role after Salas' retirement and death. Ah! That's good. It's good they didn't just get some random person to come and do an impression. Like they did <laughs> in Kingdom Hearts. Yo, man, what's up, Sora? It's me, Eddie Murphy. Oh. Yo, what's up, Wallace? It's me, Robert. Uh, so, oh. I want to get the, uh, the, the thingy in here. Quick grow muscle formula. Yo, it's in the Wallace and Gromit world. It'd probably actually work. Is there the bee? Is the bee still on here? Yep. What I was Ouch. about to say is that. Well, that's a fine way to say good morning. What I was about to say is that uh, I see like Wallace's mouth is running in a low FPS, as if to like simulate the claymation animation. But uh, if they just did like camera movements as um, as like smooth. But they made Wallace and Gromit's animations in a lower FPS, like 12 FPS or something. Uh, I think it would have really, like... They pick a fine time to pile bills on a fellow just when the old piggy bank is empty. I'm trying to ignore them, but you do have a way of making me face up to the hard facts, Gromit. Okay. <laughs> I can move again. I'm gonna press the button. Hey, Wallace! Don't push me <laughs> buttons, Gromit. Ah, <laughs> it's so rude. You son of a bitch, I'll get you. Hey, eggs today, Gromit, not porridge. Oh, eggs, all right, fine. I wonder how long I could just let these bills pile up before the utility companies get miffed. It would make an interesting experiment. <laughs> I wonder how long I don't have to pay me rent, Gromit. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go make some eggs, I guess. I don't know where the kitchen is. I thought it was through that direction, but I guess not. Uh, this door? Yep. Ooh! Now this is nice. What's... That's a lot of crackers. <laughs> Little did you know, they're actually torn up white people. Tap or bash? I, I, I... Oh, I get It's the egg. I want to bash it, though. I want to bash the egg. <laughs> Gromit's like, violence is the answer today. Gromit wakes up and picks violence. How's that egg coming, Gromit? <laughs> Gonna kill Wallace. Hmm, I wonder how long I can fuck over the government till they cut off my fingers, Gromit. How long can I go before I'm arrested for tax evasion, Gromit? <laughs> oh, here we go. Ah, I see. Puzzle creation time. Right click to exit. Okay. Well, I need to find something to put there so it goes... Breakfast, eggs, toast, and honey. Well, I've got the honey. We need the butter for the uh, uh, toast. He just slapped it under his armpit. Can you close the door, Gromit? Thank you. He just... <laughs> just... <laughs> I ripped that my phone call. <laughs> I'd love to see that, actually, Wallace. Evading tax and running from the police. Wallace is a grommet curse of the landlord. <laughs> okay, let's make some, uh... Wait, is this the... Oh, here we go. Got some bread. Okay. Oh, no, there's tea! Guess I'll get another one, then. Oh, there's none left! He took my last tea back! Why does- what does a squirrel want with tea? He can't even eat it! Let's just use the toaster. Put some arsenic in Wallace's toast. Yo, Wallace, I've laced the- the- A 
Okay, how about this, Gromit? What is that? Oh, it's a, it's a footprint. Okay, how about this, Gromit? You, why don't you close the window? Can I put a mousetrap on where he will step? Or I could go outside and kill the Walking fucking squirrel. Walking too late, Gromit. I need me breakfast. Oh, Wallace, I'm trying to kill the fucking squirrel. Oh, god damn it. Walking. Tea break. Walking too late, Gromit. I need me breakfast. How much longer till the neighbors realize I killed the landlord, Gromit? Okay, I can mix stuff. That's great. Uh... Hi, old Wallace. Van here here. Sorry to leave a message, but it's about that incident in the shop. That blinking mechanical mouse of yours has put me in a right pickle. Wallace, you need I to pay your rent. I've for 3,000 with advanced cheese tracking capabilities, but it chewed through all me fancy tail and me red lister too. Now I know we've always been on good terms, but this morning I find myself not inconsiderably discombobulated. And I can't let it happen again, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to say that with the deepest regret, and following police advice, you and your blinking contraptions are barred from my establishment until further notice. I swap back to my, uh, last, uh, microphone, my previous microphone, because I was just getting sick of certain things happening. I bought a new Blue Yeti because my one's cord was starting to, like, disconnect every now and again. I think it might have been my actual old computer, which was busted. Uh, but the new Blue Yetis, they're not as good as the old ones. For example, every time my computer goes to sleep, or every time I turn on my computer, I have to unplug it, then replug it. Like, to get it to actually put any audio through. And secondly, I can set my uh, uh, maximum gain to zero on this one and have it be perfectly fine, whereas in the new ones you have to set it to 50. And it's just, it just doesn't leave as much room for, you know, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just saying, don't like it. Anyway, let's kill this fucking squirrel. Alright, what, what if I go around here? No, oh, wait, no, that's just the crackers, I forgot. <laughs> Uh So I need something to crack the egg. What do I have? Do I have an inventory? There's, pro there's probably a fucking... I have a, I have probably a... Oh, here we go. Tab shows everything. Uh... That I can use. That's this neat. Just a reminder, Gromit, in case you've forgotten. <laughs> That's funny. But I'm just gonna quickly press... Oh, here we go. Uh... Use honey with... Okay, I can... Uh, I'm assuming I can use that with the toaster. Uh, what was the button? It's R. It's like butter, it's like tennis racket. Here we go. Well, oh, he's sniffing the... Why does well, why does Gromit keep sniffing this? Oh, squirrel feet. Oh, baby. All right, hang on. I'm just gonna fix that real quick. Am I already lost? Am I already stuck? Fetch me the ketamine, Gromit. Okay. Now use the tennis racket, Gromit. I think I've got an idea. I think maybe if I put the butter on the footprints, he'll slip. Uh, here we go. Here we go, baby. Here he comes! 
Oh, that's gross looking butter. Now Wallace is not gonna have any butter left. Oh, he was pissed. My game has been saved! Hooray! Uh, but I gotta put something on the... Well, I've got... I've got... I've got the toast. But he probably wants honey. Can I put it on the... Nope. Can't make... Can't make a nice French toast. I guess, uh... Th that's one thing done. So I've got my toast now. I've got the toast, Bromit! That's not the right accent, Bromit! <laughs> In this racket. Use it with the bread box. Fine. Uh, well, I want to use honey with the toast, but I don't think I can. Wait, with the stove? Wait. Ah, okay. Don't make a house fire, Gromit! Maybe I can... Ha! Ah! No, that's not, that's not correct. I'm assuming I needed one of those... Well, honey's not gonna work. But the... <laughs> Use toast with the tea! That ain't gonna do anything. <laughs> Why don't we just smack the chicken hard enough? Would that do it? Okay, no, I've got the feeling I haven't quite, um... Unless there's something else I can interact with. No, there's still no tea. It didn't magically appear back. Uh... Thank you to Islandman! Uh, 76. As someone who owns the entire movie collection on DVD, this makes me so happy. Thank you for playing this, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope I do too! I have been so far, I'm just fucking stupid, is all. Alright, well maybe, maybe the answer is in here. Maybe if I press Wallace's... Wait, I haven't gone in here. No breakfast foods down there, Gromit. Ah! Oh. <laughs> He's a little creepy, you gotta Don't admit. waste your time in the living room. Uh, I mean, storage room. No breakfast in there, lad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walkies can wait, Gromit. I need me breakfast. Imagine, like, just one day, Wallace has no idea why... Did you find those dog tags I bought you, Grommy? Ah... Uh, I see. Maybe upstairs. Maybe I missed something in Wallace's room. In the bin? The cheese... Thing... The record... Nope, nothing here. Alright, it's fine. You yeah, won't thanks. find me breakfast up there, Grommy. What if I just use the cheese that you had up here? The old smelly ass cheese. Oh, Gromit's legs are always so fucking tall. Yeah, they were. I just, I don't think his knees were this high up. Like. <laughs> you browse the books. Beowulf. The Great Gatsby. Well. All right, come on, I need- Gromit was the sound of my belly. It's saying what I'm too polite to mention. Breakfast oh. is late. Oh, shut the fuck up, Wallace. I'm trying to figure and it out. Toast and honey. I can practically taste them already. You're not attempting to usurp my prerogatives, I trust. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I need something. I need something. This man owns seven copies of the Cheese Bible. Of course he would. Why wouldn't he? I'm down already, Gromit. Another Wallace falls on top of him. <laughs> Holy fuck, Gromit! What happened? I think I've got everything I can. So I'm just gonna... Oh, oh wait, I didn't use the phone. What number, please? Oh, well, I can't exactly speak. Uh... God, son of a bitch, I just... What about the crisper? Nope. Forget it. I, I was gonna, like, I have the toast. And I was like, okay, I'll put the toast on the plate. But I can't. 
Toast with the stove. I don't know how to combine items unless there's like a like a unless there was like a tutorial for it and I didn't. Wait, what the fuck? Toast with the controls. Why doesn't he get it himself? It's a good fucking question. <laughs> Game's over, too difficult. <laughs> it really is difficult though. Can I make more toast? Oh, there's none left. Wow. It's all gone. Okay, Gromit. Time, time for us to think. How the fuck are we meant to get the stupid fucking chicken. Zig. Yeah, great, great, great. Good, good. I have the feeling I need to make toast and honey first, but like... Oh. Huh. I just, I... What the fuck do I do? <laughs> Guys! What do I do? I, honestly, I, I don't fucking know. I, I can't think of anything. Like, I understand we need like one of those little monkey guys to like... Uh, bring the egg across, but I couldn't find one. I don't have one. Walk through time? The tea maybe? No, there's no, there's no tea. There's no tea left because the squirrel got it. The squirrel got the tea. Kill the fucking bee? Oh, that's not a bad idea. I have a tennis Still racket, no right? no breakfast. I'm beginning to suspect foul play. I'm gonna nag about these. I left a note on the fridge in case you forget. Yeah, Eggs, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna nag about these honey. bills. I suppose I should at least pay the wool bill. Can I please have that? Oh, while he's writing, I bet I can grab it. Hey, that dog is getting a little too independent, if you ask me. I got it. I knew I could move around before, but I thought it was just like, oh, I can move around while he finishes the the thingy magic. Okay, I can pour that, or maybe. Ouch. Well, that's a fine way to say good morning. I used the tennis ring. What? Did I not? Oh, pressing E like moves the thing around. All right. Hang on. Let me let me try that again. No, he just keeps using his hand like an idiot. Stung you just smash him with the racket, Gromit. Blinking cheek. All right. Well, I got it. Finally able to go and, and, and make Wallace's fucking breakfast. Okay, here we, here we go. No, not the fridge! God! Just leave it open. And they must be getting real hungry, because they have no food in their fridge. Alright, here we go. Uh, that thing, use that on the wire. I don't know how I got up there, but sure, that'll work. Great! Good stuff. Let's do it! Probably turn this the stove off. Okay. Or on. Well, I've got his eggs. What is what did he want again? Close the fridge grommet. Eggs, toast, and honey. Well, I've got that, but well, I guess I your toast is gonna be really freaking cold by now. I guess I don't have to put it all on the plate. I guess I just bring it in. Any news on the breakfast front, Gromit? I think it's going to be an eventful day today, Gromit. <laughs> it's already four o'clock in the afternoon. 
<laughs> He's still waiting for his breakfast. Uh, alright. Ah, okay. Going to a turn. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> the cold, cold toast. But I'm still waiting for the eggs and honey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honey goes on the bread. Is honey pot with bills? Okay, I don't. Honey. I, I guess they don't put How it on the on the on the on the bread. Oh. Forgive me for, for jumping to a logical conclusion. A I guess. Kind of fucked up that the egg wasn't sterilized. What? What are you talking about? Sterilized eggs? Cracking eggs, Chuck. Now that's what I call a breakfast feast. Wasn't so You guys don't just have it, eggs that you get from like farms and shit? With a hearty plate of eggs and toast under me belt, I'm ready to take on the world. Gromit, I've a strange feeling this is the day our fortunes are going to change. Morning, Wallace. May I have a word? Um uh, if it's about yesterday's uh, um, little mishap. Oh no, you see? I can assure you it, it was an accident, Mr. Penny, and I'll certainly pay for the damage to your grocery shop. I was just putting the Sniffer 3000 through its paces. It's still only a prototype, you know? Oh, I realize that, Mr. Wallace. What better place to test out a cheese detector than in a shop with such an excellent selection of cheeses? Happen. But you'll still have to pay for the damage, I'm afraid. Yes, of course. I'll put it all right. Though Wallace doesn't are, have any eyebrows. How can I put this? A little tight at the moment. Only until our new business is up and running. Hi. Well, that's what I'm here to talk about. I understand you and Gromit are in the honey business now. Fresh deliveries daily. From B to you. <laughs> ah, well, perhaps I can help you get on your feet. I'm having my annual sounding of the Crumpets Festival, and I'm clean out of honey. Can you deliver 50 gallons? 50 gallons? By tonight? Tonight? It'll more than cancel your debt, and it'll be good advertising for you. What do you say? I say... I say yes! We're in business, lad! Well... <laughs> Heads up, no time for slacking. From B to you has landed its first major order. 50 gallons of honey by tomorrow. I want this place to be a hive of activity. It's your chance to show the world what sort of workers you are. You're certainly buzzing with excitement. Or maybe they're hungry. Did you remember to feed them this morning, Gromit? I wasn't allowed to go into the basement. I'll do it. It's an American thing. They clean the eggs. That's why they need to store them in the fridge. <laughs> Americans. Oh, I'm Gromit. Yeah, Gromit. I'll feed the bees. What the fuck? Gromit. Did you make this? <laughs> it doesn't look anything like me. Nothing like an inspirational poster to boost worker productivity. For right. some reason, my boys aren't terribly fond of this one. Mm. The magnetronic pollinator is the linchpin of the operation. My workers get their rations mechanically. No foraging in flower beds for them. Okay. What's up, Gromit? No honey yet, Gromit. I wonder if there's something else I need to do to prime the pump, as it were. Yes, I, I know. I know what I need to do. I always loved, like, the little levers and things in Wallace and Gromit. They always look so pushable. What's look up, bees? Alive in there. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea to do to, to the bees. Ah, oh, what's this? There's the hatch from me rocket ship. Remember that moon holiday, Gromit? I was like, yes. 
The horrible, tormented memories, yes, I remember. My workers are very devoted to their queen. Well, okay. Very good. I'm, I'm sure this is used for a puzzle somewhere. Can I go back upstairs, or...? I don't want any accidents on my shop floor. Imagine living in a fucking basement the with a bee. Control for my You'd be so depressed. 3000. Too bad about the teething problems. Still, this might come in handy. Winsley Dale. Okay. Uh, let's get the flowers. Flowers. Yeah, that is the that is nowhere near enough for a hive for a of bees. Hive. You need like thousands and thousands of flowers. <laughs> All right, let's prime that pump. Slap these in. My magnetronic pollinator. Oh, shut the fuck up, Wallace! Flowers I'm trying to use the flowers. <laughs> nectar out. God damn it! All right, flowers. Chuck them in. Uh, bon appetit. Oh. Hmm. Not exactly a flood, is it? You gave them three hmm. flowers. Flowers, Gromit. What's the, the what's the drop suspended in midair there? Chain. Did I we see that correctly? More flowers. <laughs> I'm gonna cut to Gromit. It was. It definitely was. So we need more flowers. All right. Now where can I find a whole lot of flowers in a hurry? Outside. Just go to the park and rip them out. <laughs> he immediately puts it in his pocket. All right. Beautiful morning, Mr. Wallace. Ah! I'm pleased to see you've emerged from your subterranean lair. Well, well, well. Looks like somebody out here has some Doing flowers. Doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flit? Working my green fingers to the bone. But the hard work appears to be paying off. Indeed it does. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. It certainly looks delicious. I mean, I imagine it would look delicious if you were an insect. You mean, if I were a bee? Well, now you mention it. You want to feed my flowers to your bees? That is, if you don't mind. How many would you like? As many as you can spare. Oh, well, you can have all. You want, Mr. Wallace? Shrimp roll oh, rings! Much obliged, Miss Flint. Here, you can jolly well grow your own. Uh, right ho. Ah, okay. I thought she was being really nice for a second, but no. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll just use the growth stuff on the, on the flowers. That would make sense, right? That would work. What's this gnome guy? Anyway, thanks for the donation, uh, MBL one up. Uh, waiting to see when Wallace is unconscious at the bottom of the stairs laying on the floor family guy style. <laughs> Wait, what did this do? <laughs> ah, okay. Probably get a knife. How did the pond stay... How does the pond stay upside down? What's this guy? I wonder what happened to his little cricket bat. He's a cricket bat, okay. Uh, well, why don't I plant the daisies in the only patch of grass available, right here? There's nothing growing here. And whose fault is that? You had a garden, Wallace, but you raised it to the ground to feed your silly bees. Now, you're making eyes at mine across the fence. Yeah, but Wallace... you shan't be plucking any of my blooms. Your, your business doesn't really make a lot of sense. You have bees. You have bees that need flowers, and flowers will give an unlimited amount of honey or like pollen and stuff as long as you keep them alive. But you use all the flowers and you you, you turn them into mush or whatever you do, and then you need to grow more flowers. Just grow a shitload of flowers underground or something. 
using UV lamps or something. Anyway, put your fucking daisies. <laughs> now all we do is wait. There now. With hard work and a little luck, you should have a nice bed of flowers in two or three months. I uh. can't wait two or three months. I've got a deadline. This evening. No, oh, you poor simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. I wonder. Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. If it works on people, perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Three miracle ingredients. Groating, Energize, Strongium. Well, I need a miracle, and fast. It shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who's got the grandest garden in West Wallaby Street. The hive will be humming in no time. This was a guy walking in the background. Oh, I need to- I get to leave. Wow. I'm going to walk onto the street, Gromit. Ah! <laughs> oh, yes, the next logical step. Steroids. Oh, caught you! Can't take an old soldier by surprise. Okay, I'm going to go past you. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I, I didn't. <laughs> I I didn't actually want to. I wanted to talk to him, but I. Oh, there we go. Is that you again, Wallace? Take cover, man! Take cover! Morning, Major. Come. It is. If you don't mind enemy invasions. I beg your pardon. Didn't you get my message? Received intelligence of a major air assault. Expect the sirens to sound any minute. Hope you know where your nearest air raid shelter is. I do recall something about that. But Major Crumb, are you sure you're not mistaken? I know, I know. I've made predictions before, but I'm not crying wolf. This time, I've got proof. What's the proof? Jar? It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Does it? I can only see a snail. Of course it's a snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what is she trying to tell us? Look at her, man! She's retreated into her shell in the middle of the day! And that means only one thing! It means she knows trouble is about to strike! Oh, that snails the dry out in the sun? Law of nature, Wallace! Learned it in France during the war! Never wrong yet! Good man, Wallace! I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation! Now, spread the word! If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to the snail. I'll just put it under my armpit then. <laughs> You're looking at my case, aren't you, Wallace? Well, I suppose I was, Major. Bet you'd like to know what what's is this inside. Guy? I am curious, yes. <laughs> This case is packed full of government issue groteen bars. Groteen? Rations? Ah. Wallace, emergency rations for. emergencies, obviously. Beat stockpiling them since the war. Enough you Crushes the snail in his hand. Man under fire for a whole day. I don't I really care about the snail. <laughs> They're full, but packed with high strength groteen. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. What if I steal one? Oh, no. <laughs> well, here I am. Where's Wallaby Street? Hello! Ah, Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wallace, I've got something for you. Much obliged. 
That looks like. Can it really be cheese? <laughs> Indeed it is, Wallace. Bensleydale, your favorite. And am I to take it that these are. Yes, free samples. Go on, duck in. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. Well, and Mr. Paneer is literally named after a cheese. I'm looking forward to your festival of crumpets, Mr. Paneer. I'm afraid you're banned from my store, Wallace. But due to the devastation caused yesterday by your invention. I'm ever so sorry, Chuck. Well. Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. Shit! <laughs> what about Eddie's pipe? closed. Ah. Oh, I could murder a sausage roll or two. He could murder a sausage roll. I never thought I'd be able to hear Wallace say murder. I could murder Gromit. Ah. I mean, a sausage roll. Wonder if the landlord would be interested in subscribing to my honey service. No, no sense in looking for new orders when I haven't fulfilled the first. Yeah. It really isn't. Oh. Mr. Gabberly! Got away! Went to Timbuktu! Won't be back until spring! Okay. Could those be... Uh, I couldn't help but notice the flowers on your window ledge, Mrs. Gabberly. Ah, lovely, aren't they? Bring a touch of summer to the town square. Especially the purple pansies. Always been partial to pansies, me. You should see the flat. It's full of them. Ah, blinking weeds, if you ask me. Can't abide them. Oh, go and suck a lemon, you moaning ninny. Ah. Oh, now look what you've done, you clumsy old. And open up that window when I'm yelling at you. All right. <laughs> but only to prove your insults don't get to me anymore. <laughs> I can deflect them all. Is that so? Oh, I thought it would have broken completely. Wallace, steal the flowers. Steal the fucking flowers, I'd Wallace. I'd be happy to take these flowers off your hands, Mrs. Gabberly. That is, if they make your husband unhappy. That's a good reason to keep them to my way of thinking. But go ahead if you want them. Much obliged. I'll put them in my pants, apparently. I get off on flowers. Worth thinking about? Hmm. Hmm. Pardon me, Mrs. Gabberly. I wonder, uh, that is, could you spare a verb? Uh, sorry? Give me a verb, Wallace. An action word. Oh, uh, playing a word game, are we? In a manner of speaking. Oh, well, let's see. A verb. Do I get to write it in? Uh. Mild. A greasy turkey chew. Prune pops. I mean, a, 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 a verb. A, a doing word. Uh. Do chew? Chew is an action. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one. Now I need a thing. A thing? Aye. Okay. You know, something physical you could do. Yes, I know what a thing something is. I... Believe it or not. Uh, a toad. Toad? Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Hmm. Okay. Uh. The greasy. Greasy. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a corker, that Run is. Run greasy. <laughs> Last one. Nearly done. I need another thing. Or like a person or animal. A person or animal. A toad. <laughs> I don't think it'll allow me to. I'm gonna try anyway. Toad? Yes, that's a thing. <laughs> okay. Hey! What is it now? Oh, chew! A toad! You greasy toad! Hey, I am blessed with a healthy coating of grease. Keeps me supple. 
A good solid insult, I thought. But okay. maybe we need to think different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, did it say, oh, chew toad? I, I, don't, I don't know what she said. A greasy toad uh -oh. fan fiction. Hey, it's not closing time yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, an interesting word game, Mrs. Gabberly. Want to play again? I need a word, Wallace. Uh, no, I don't want How? to play again. No? Oh. <laughs> Shit. Damn it. Do you know anything about snails, Mrs. Gabberly? I know they eat them in continental parts. Well, yes, but do you think there's anything special about this one? To be honest, I couldn't The snail just disappeared tell. for a frame. What about batter? Fine, that'll do. Now, I think... Right. <laughs> Back to the old toad. Toad. Why not? Now... Hey! What is it now? More butter! A turkey! You mild gentleman! Hey! You do know how to wound a bloke, Winnie! Oh! Go batter! A turkey, you mild I gentleman. Be such a grumpy old granddad. <laughs> what an insult! And that's the one that got to him, calling him a gentleman. Uh, if I, uh, that is, could you see your way fit to lending me that pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly, uh, for business purposes? Business purposes? Well, be my guest. I've got bunches of them. Yoink. Take that shit. Yeah, is this Blue's Clues? I, I, I noticed you received my petition for early release of the Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins. Yes, and I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only appealing for natural justice. What your blinking cheese detector thing of me, what do you call it? Destroyed an entire. Can I turn down the music? Door. The music's really loud. Teething uh, problems. It's still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. A diabolical device. You can see that in its face. My machine isn't evil, Constable Dibbins. It's just got a short fuse and a few loose nuts. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to formally interview this glorified tin can of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody. Okay. Ah. You there, prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Fear not, my little cheese-sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. Ah. Oi, where do you think you're going? Blasted impertinence. Okay, well, I, I thought... Ah. We've had our little chat. I've got an idea. And I'm afraid there's no talking to your sniffer. Hardwired for criminality, I'd say. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. If I give him the Winsleydale... Cheesy nipple, Officer Dibbins. Well, well, well. Wensleydale. <gasps> Not attempting to bribe an officer, are you, Wallace? For shame. The great British Bobby cannot be bought off with a cheesy nipple. No, come on! Damn it, son of a bitch. I need him to take My it. My offer of cheese is made in a spirit of friendship. And is turned down in the same spirit. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
My offer of cheese is made. Ah, oh, damn it. Son of a bitch. What if I can. Maybe I can walk inside and, like, place it on the ground. Poor Sniffer 3000. I only just put the finishing touches on it yesterday, and it's already fallen afoul of the law. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Can you see fit to grant. Not on your announcer when I tried. It only responds to certain commands. I know, I programmed it. Approach? Well, I'll have another chat with it. More friendly like. Oh, yes. I ain't promising nothing, ma. Okay. I just. Damn it. Time we had a little chat. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Damn it, I need him to. That mattress looks awfully hard. Well, just as well, the Sniffer 3000 goes into sleep mode automatically. Yeah, great. Uh, if I use a different cheese, yeah, I go for Rotterdam. Cheeky blighter. Ugh. No, he needs the cheese on him. Wallace will remember that. <laughs> No change, I'm afraid. <laughs> Free chip cheese and its denied. moral compass seems to be badly malfunctioning. I didn't hear him say cheesy nipple. Nibble. Nibble is what he said. Ah, uh, what is this? Oh, there's Miss Sniffer 3000. Banged up like a common criminal. Oh, breaks my heart. That cheese detector's not a bad machine. Just a bit over keen. It's all the energites in its system. Energites? It seems to me, yes. Energites is one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. I used my last energite battery to feed uh... the sniffer. I'll have to get it back if I want to finish the formula. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get this anyway. So I need to somehow. Okay, let's get out of here, Wallace. Friendship cheese? Come on, dude, just take the fucking friendship cheese, you piece of shit. Yeah, what's around the back? Nothing. Alright. Well, one last try for the friendship cheese. Maybe, maybe he can tell me about the snail. Alternatively, I put the cheese through the slot. That won't help. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Um, come on, one last time, dude. Just, just cheese. Come on, friendship cheese. My offer of cheese is made in a spirit of friendship. Damn it. And is turned down. Cheese with the, the window. Sense. I give it a go. Maybe when the guard is asleep. I, I don't think he ever goes to sleep. <laughs> oh, okay, it did work. But it's under the beard. Sniffer 3000. That mattress looks awfully hot. Did I just waste my cheese? Ah, uh, let's give it a go anyway. Let's see what happens. How long did. Alright. <laughs> cheese and the flowers and give him the flower. I don't think you I can there. combine items. Prisoner. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Okay. Here I go. The Winsley Dale. I don't know what him looking towards the beard would be. Well, if that's how he wants to play Damn it, it, then he can stay in here until he rusts for all I care. It's a fucking robot. Why do I listen to you, Wallace? That heap of scrap hasn't changed its ways, and never will. Alright, well, we're gonna have to find, obviously, find something else. Mm. I'm not sure what exactly. You're standing in a puddle, Mr. Paneer. <laughs> My shoes aren't waterproof. Okay. What about down this direction? Maybe there's something over this way. Now that's a fine looking post box. 
It would make a good chassis for my Try the other option. I... But that's tomorrow's project. I, I... Maybe there's like a... Okay, there's no more cheese sample, so the cheese needs to be there. At least I can talk to this guy and he gives me another cheese sample. Have you come to deliver my order? Uh, it's not quite ready yet, I'm afraid. You're not going to disappoint me. Not after yesterday's little incident. Oh, no. You can count on from B to you. Okay, great. Uh, okay. Um. I already went through all these. Okay. Lovely. There's nothing I need. Okay. Great. Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I reckon. A sunny day like today. It's a trifle sweltering, yes. But danger and discomfort are all in the line of duty for an officer of the law. Though most folk don't appreciate it. Do I have, like, multiple bits of cheese, maybe? Damn it. So maybe I could have put it in his... in his hat. Doesn't suit my immediate purpose. Fuck. How do I get the cheese back? <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Uh... The slipper's just trying to get to the cheese. But the machine sounds like it's crying. Oh, almost brings a tear to my eye just watching. Well, I'll try the other one, but... No. I need the... That mattress looks off. I need the cheese, but I... I need to get it back to put it in the guy's hat. Shit. What is this? Oh, I can teleport. Okay. Nice. Um. The Sniffer 3. Yeah, yeah, I know about the Sniffer 3000. I'm telling you, I really, really do. Son of a bitch. Was there the cheese by the beard back home? There was! It was! What kind of cheese was it, though? I wasted perfectly good cheese. Oh, fuck! That was quick! <laughs> no loading screen! <laughs> Pew! Alright, let's grab this cheese. Mm, last night's bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. Gorgon that was Gorgonzola? That looked like blue... Is that... No way, that's Gorgonzola. I thought Gorgonzola was just yellow. Oh well. Guess I'm wrong. Alright, uh... Maybe... Wait a minute. What's this then? Phew. That'll put me right to sleep. Okay. This core box has been a boon for Gromit. No matter where he is in the house, he's never far from his master's voice. Kind of eerie, mm. it being so quiet. Time for a nap. Oh, no, better not. <laughs> yeah, better not, Wallace. Oh? <laughs> Trap door. Y y you don't remember your own room? <laughs> oh, shit, there's a trap door there. I thought I just teleported into the kitchen every day. I guess I'll look around and see what else I can find. Might as well. I might find the answer to my problems here, but searching through these books would take me all day. Okay. I must be up already. <laughs> They make me laugh. Silicon flowers. Can't feed those to my bees. They demand the organic variety. Yeah, I wonder why. 
What's that? That looks like the flyer I picked up in the hall. Why would Gromit throw away an important piece of correspondence like that? Well, well, well. This plant also looks plastic. Lovely. Lovely. Me porridge gun. Could prove fatal if it fell into inexperienced hands. Oops. Well. That was a grand fishing trip, Gromit. Until that giant squid turned up. Oh. Well. Gromit's marrow. Can I? There we go. The wells run dry. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess that's all we need there. Let's uh, head back into town. I guess. All right. There's no doubt in my mind that this man needs to get the gorgonzola in his motherfucking hat. Well, if it isn't Wallace, I had a notion you'd be nosing round the police station this morning. Not sure how I'd pull that off. <laughs> how much does a helmet like that weigh? Eight pound and five ounces. Some days feels more like eighty pounds. Okay, he's taking it off. Uh, 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 uh shit. Uh, uh, Gorgonzola, chucking in the hat. <laughs> I did it. Okay, so you you get multiple chances with that. All right, nice. Uh, all right. Oh. Now go back in there. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Time we had a little chat. Here we go. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Nice. Yahoo! <laughs> Thanks for the dip, like guy. It. Now you've had time to think, what can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Feel bad about what you did, do you? <gasps> and then I used the, the Winsleydale. He's weeping. Maybe this contraption's got feelings after all. <laughs> I want a truthful answer. If I release you from custody, will you do it again? Oh shit, uh, Rotterdam, I'm assuming. Well, I'll be done. <laughs> the prisoner has been interviewed. Yes. And having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release you into your protective custody. Provided, Wallace, you give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him. Or it. Or whatever he answers to. Oh, I'll keep an eye on him, Constable Dibbins. You have my word on that. Wait, his mouth was suddenly smooth. I, I didn't realize, but his mouth is smooth. Oh, it's really strange. Alright, so I need to get... How do I... Wait, is that a... The sky is blue, and still it rains on yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everything happen to me? Well, did you do as I asked? So he's sleeping. Do we... Yeah, I did. Have you delivered the message? Have you shown them the snail? I'm not sure the snail will convince them, Major Crump. If she doesn't, the air raid siren will. But by then, it may be too late. All right. Uh, okay, so I guess I gotta show the snail to everyone in town, which I can do, I guess. Have you brought it, me... Mr. Vallis? Yeah, hello. Just bear with me for a moment, Mr. Paneer. 
Major Crum wanted me to show you this. That's a snail, Mr. Wallace. I know. Why are you showing me a snail? Well, it's in its shell, you see. And according to Major Crum, when a snail goes into its shell during the day, it means we can expect untold airborne activity of an unpleasant nature. Go home, Wallace, and get some rest. Reckon you've been overdoing the inventing? Cool. Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. I know, 50 gallons. Gee up, Wallace, love. How's business? Terrible. All right, uh, police guy, the snail. May I show you something, Constable Dibbins? Is it important? It might be. That's a snail, Wallace. Do you notice anything peculiar about it? Only the person what's holding it. <laughs> All right, I've done it. All right, I, I've shown everybody my... Well, did you do Jesus as I asked? Jesus Christ, he just... You spare just Damn it, he was sleeping. I thought I got bar. it. Stop this insubordination at once, man! There are for emergencies only when supply lines are down and a man's got no other way of keeping his strength up. But if, as you say, we're expecting some kind of airborne incursion... Indeed we are! Expecting the air raid sirens any minute! Alright, uh, I, I showed them the snail. No point in showing her to me, old man. I'm already aware of the danger. Show her to the others, the unbelievers. I did. Well, what do they have to say now that they've seen the snail? Well, I haven't exactly shown it to everyone. But you must! But I did! Look at that poor lass. Oh. Not a kitchen. Okay. Alright, 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 Here I go. Uh. I'm going through this direction. Oh, it's a snail. Hey, come back here, you thieving rascal. That's my tea bag. I won't have you threatening that dear little creature. Not while he's in my garden. You've come buzzing back, Mr. Wallace. As a bee to a blossom, eh? I, I guess so. Here, look I at the snail. I realize this may seem a trifle irregular, but Major Crum insisted I show you this. It's... Uh, it, uh, oh. A snail? In my garden? <laughs> Have you lost your mind, Wallace? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, he's gone inside. That means I can go steal his fucking briefcase. Wallace really is a sociopath. What? No! No flowers in here. What can I fucking kill this snail with? Throw a pot at its head. I don't think he'd appreciate that. Yeah, that's the point. Hmm. I'll leave that be. Be? Get it? He'll leave it be. Ah, the robot trousers has been turned into a lawn mowing device. Very good. Anything else to look at? Uh, watering can. I should water the flowers. Probably. Hmm. Water's all right, but growth formula would be faster. What are you on about? Ah, okay. I get it. I get it. I understand. Let's go around to the back garden and see what there is. The basement. This is a quick entrance to the basement. Is it? Oh. Well then, Gromit. Oh fuck. Hmm. Running a bit low on Wensleydale. Running a bit low on everything, Wallace. 
Yeah, just leave the fridge up. The power bill doesn't really matter. Awfully long drop. Jump down. <laughs> Come on. Do it. Pussy. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is silly and it's fun. I wonder where Major Crumb disappeared to. Uh. Kitchen, maybe? I would say the basement, to be honest, but. Yeah, definitely the basement. Get on down. Wallace! Thank heavens you made it to the shelter! I'd given you up for lost! Caught in the crossfire, were you? What's the news from above, citizen? Chaos and destruction? Pardon me, Major. About those groating bars of yours. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for... Emergencies, obviously. Been stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're foul, but packed with high-strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. By George, this is an emergency. Oops. I hereby issue you one protein bar. Guard it well, and see that it lasts you all day. Wallace, here's one for you as well. Much obliged. Well, got it. Uh, okay, so that's that. I've got two things. The question are the captions for this game. That would make things easier, but I don't think I saw any. Um, oh, shit. All right, there we go. Well, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, enjoy the next two hours. Wait! What? Careful, Wallace. You're heading into hostile territory. The enemy has clearly landed, and most likely set up camp in West Wallaby Street. Right. Who knows what the blighters have done to our once peaceful neighborhood? If you make it back alive, you'll have to give us a full report. In the meantime, eat your protein rations. The protein will keep your strength up, especially if you're captured. Brave lad! We'll keep the home fires burning. Oh, great. Now I've lost my protein bar. Damn it. Uh, shit. Unless... No. Well, I just gotta go back down and make another... Get another growth in I still need one ingredient for my growth formula. Strongium. Sh Ought to be simple enough to find that. Where? Did how? Strongium. Maybe from this fucking squirrel. No good. The Sniffer 3000 must be out of range. Okay. Well, he said go to West Wallaby, so... I guess... Ah, Mr. Vallis! I don't understand the delay. It's only 50 gallons of honey. Well, the bees get a bit confused. They're on the modern metric system, you see. Takes them a while to do the conversion. Ooh. Wait, I've got an idea. Uh, hang on, I've got some flowers. I'm gonna just use those first and see what happens. Come on, Wallace. You see, Private Grummit? I told you he'd make it back to us alive. Our Wallace is a fighter. Bagged a few of those blighters, did you? Uh, yeah, sure. That's what I did. Uh, bon appetit. Oh, hot and all. Okay. Oh. Hmm, not exactly a flood, is it? I suppose I should use the other flower too. Uh, 
Bon appetit. Oh. Oh. Hmm, not exactly a flood, is it? No. But I, I, I. Where the fuck do I go? To continue Stop the story. Stop pacing about, Wallace. You're making the rest of the men nervous. Uh, I wonder if I might trouble you for one of my protein bars. Thought I gave you one already, but never mind. All right. Terribly kind of you. Uh, so I need. I'm not sure I like that big fella's attitude. You there. When an officer addresses you, this guy is definitely you senile. That's a... thank you. Ah, I see. Uh, I need flowers for my machine, Major Crumb. It works on flower power. Not one of those wretched hippies, are you, Wallace? Oh. Okay. Is he gonna die? He's gonna do it again. All right. Okay. Fuck. What do I do? God damn it. The living room door stuck. All oh, right. It's a storage room now. G great. Um. So I need strongium. Where the fuck do I find strongium? Maybe it's like another way to go. When I exit outside, okay, man, this can't be around here. Uh, if I, I don't know, that doesn't really make sense, does it? Because you can't go anywhere else. Let's go into West Wallaby Street. It's fucking screw. Drop that tea bag, you tight. And you can drop your fist, Mr. Wallace. You're persistent in your attentions this morning, Mr. Wallace. Have you noticed? I put a new roof on Mr. Nutter's house. Mr. Nutter? Surely you're acquainted with our neighbor, Mr. Nutter, the squirrel. Uh, I'm not on first name terms with any of the neighborhood animals, I'm afraid. What about Gromit? Oh, no, he isn't either. Where's uh. that dog of yours? He's in the cellar, supervising our bees. You keep bees in your cellar? You're very odd. Oh, there wasn't space in the dining room. Okay. Have you noticed? I... No. Oh. No. Oh. Yep. I haven't noticed those flowers before. I shouldn't wonder. They're morning glories. And they're usually tucked up in bed by the time you emerge from your underground lair. Their scent is divine. Attracts a lot of Great. bees, I suppose. Swarms of them. But I don't let them linger. Why not? <laughs> That's stupid. Strongium. Great. Oh! I don't know what that is for. So I need the cricket bat for this fucker. I wonder what happened to his little cricket bat. Probably the squirrel took it. I, I don't. I don't know. This is very confusing. Wait, there's more flowers. Have here? you brought it, Mr. Vallis? No. Piss off. <laughs> no. Piss hey, off. Hey, Wallace, love. How's business? I hate to trouble you for another pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly. Oh, no trouble at all. Take it. A gift okay. from one flower lover so I need, to another. I need the flowers for something. Uh. Hurrah, by the... Well, well. Crime stopping tips. 
return to the scene of the crime, have we? Justice always triumphs in the end. Great, uh, that's wonderful. Shame my cheese is still in there, but never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Where can I get strongium, you stupid policeman? It's a smart looking helmet. Aye. Thanks, it uh, me, uh, to the KOI. Oh no, <laughs> it's a weird font. To Zuko 101. Uh, spin the cheese wheel. Damn, I don't have a cheese wheel. I wish I did. That'd be a good. That'd be a good wheel to have. Cheese, Gromit. The cheese wheel, Gromit. Splash. Huh. Maybe I can like combine. I'd rather not. Oh sure, don't give him a don't give him a drink. It's fine, I guess. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing to no get stronger. Yeah, I'm not looking for flowers, I'm looking for strongium. I can do something with that. Do something with this. Is this the exact same thing? Is it just gonna... Yep. Alright. Great. I'm weirdly invested in this game. Wheel for Wallace and Gromit just playing fix a spinner wheel and then play this? Playing fix a spin a wheel. Is that English? <laughs> spin the cheese wheel, and when it lands on that specific cheese, you eat it. <laughs> That'd be a great wheel. That'd be an awesome wheel. Thanks to Core of Envy. Uh, I have a neighbor like her. She has loads of flowers and kids still like they are. Her children very pretty odd, but she's way too protective. I mean, when you spend like 40 fucking hours a day, it doesn't make sense, but <laughs> taking care of, you know, flowers. I don't know where the fuck Strongium is gonna be. Maybe in the kitchen. Get a cracker. It's a comfort to know we're well stocked with biscuits. They're crackers. Not biscuits. You don't have you don't have a biscuit and cheese. Hello, Wallace. But here here again. Just checking on that honey order. Almost ready, I hope. This year's festival of crumpets could be the best yet if your honey's as sweet as you say. So sorry I had to ban you and your inventions from the actual premises. Great. I'd like to order Strongium, please. Paneer's produce. Uh, hello, Mr. Paneer. Boris, how's that honey order coming along? Oh, smashing. Just smashing. It's a honey of an order, all right. <laughs> uh, uh, what was the quantity again? Fifty gallons. Fifty gallons. Fifty teaspoons would be easier. You won't let me down, will you? I don't want my respected festival of crumpets turning into a bad crumpet rumpus. Oh crumpet no, Mr. Rumpus? Premier, certainly not. Uh, goodbye. Why is his head PNG white when he's black in game? What? No way. No way. Uh, hello. Uh, Mr. Vallis. No, it's, it's still. The fish. I mean, he's not, he's not black. He's Indian. He's like more of a tan, like a like a sweet caramel. It's empty. I could have sworn there was a tea bag left. Hold on a minute. Strongium. That's one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's Quick Grow Muscle Formula. I need that tea bag. Oh, that is called strong. Okay, I'm learning. All right, good, good. All right, so I need to, I need to get the fucking the, the thing. Maybe I can get that tennis racket from Gromit and smack the squirrel out of the tree. Unless I can find like an acorn so or something. So that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Gromit will be glad to get them back. I'm sure. Oh, now I have the dog tags. Uh, shit. Uh, okay. Maybe I give it to Gromit. 
What's the situation above? Fire there. Fire there. Hello, Gromit. Got your dog tag. Great news, Gromit. I found those dog tags you misplaced. Now you can walk around looking official. What's the news from above? Are they gone? Are they? And destruction? Don't I need... You've got to get your mind off the carnage up there. Would you like to hear one of my old war stories? Might help pass the time? Well, I hate to... Uh... Oh, of course you would. I brought visual Shoot the squirrel aid. with the porridge gun? Hmm, that could work. Listen to me, Rob. Use the record player in the basement to distract the major so he won't take your groping bar. Ah! Thank you. I would have That's never done that. Very interesting, Major Crumb. Uh, right, I of course, because the bee's got to salute the, 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 the image. Excuse me, Major, but later, Wally. Another groping bar? Oh, yes, no, he's talking see, over himself. <laughs> to make this one last. Here we go. She was my and my workers are very The point is, I had to feed the poor beauty. She said it herself. Yes. Wait, you're groot. See it perfectly. No. It was courage, man. Courage. I don't know what happened there, but I think the uh. <laughs> okay, he's still fucking. <clears throat> what a face! That's me kitted out for heavy combat. That helmet took many a dent before the war was through. Without it, I could have become seriously loopy. Take my advice, Wallace. Never go into battle without a regulation helmet like the one in this picture. Three weeks. Uh, uh, now there's a sight. That's me posing with mother next to my 40 millimeter bofers. Look at the size of that monster. Big Betty, we called her. <laughs> the gun, not your mother. <laughs> <clears throat> Who's that fellow? That's me as a young recruit, off to basic training. How I cried when they cut off my golden curls. But I cheered up as soon as they issued me with a beautiful set of dog tags. Dashed useful dog tags. If you happen to forget your rank or name, you've got it right there. Never go into battle without your dog tags, Wallace. Sounds like you were quite a soldier, Major Crumb. Well, Wallace, why the past tense? Uh, oh dear. Once a soldier, always a soldier. I think I've got an idea with those dog tags. But... And I'd be happy to prove it by charging into the fray. That is, if I were recommissioned and had a proper helmet with a cute little grim, and if I could find someone to take charge of this shelter and distribute the protein bars. Okay, so I need the dog tags. But Gromit just threw them at... Maybe there's more? Gromit, where the fuck are those Gromit dog tags? Do the job. Private Gromit? Can I entrust my precious cache of protein bars to a Pongo? Perhaps so. He's proven himself a trusty foot soldier. Yes. If I am called away to the front, I'd feel comfortable leaving Private Gromit in charge. But I haven't been recommissioned. Okay, well, I need... Shit. There they are. Shit, I, I, I couldn't see them for some reason. It isn't like Gromit to be so absent-minded. Then I give him the dog tags. I found these in the hall, Major Dog Gromit. tags? I've been recommissioned. Bound <laughs> to happen, of course. Can't leave good military material sitting on the shelf. My place is in the treasures. Yes, that's all very well, I suppose. But I'd need a good sturdy helmet with a cute little grim like the one I had in the war. So the police officer's helmet, unless... That doesn't make sense. It kind of does. Take the flowers out. So the police officer's hat is what I'm assuming. Uh... 
Okay. So I'm gonna need a. F Unless there's like a the, the frying pan I could use. The auto flip frying pan. That was my birthday present for Gromit last year. You're yeah, great. Uh. Cold toast. Shame to let it go to waste. Okay. No more bread. Man, what a hungry household this is. Maybe if I give the squirrel some bread, some cold toast, he'll uh, he'll give me the. Here you are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. Yeah! No! What are you looking for exactly? Back again, Mr. Walrus? I'm flattered. Um. Uh, I wonder, Miss Flit, if you would be so kind as to, uh, hand me that tea bag. Tea bag, Mr. Wallace? What tea bag? The one on your, um. Uh, ooh. Your breasts! I'm feeling quite well. Your titties! Yeah, how do I. How am I gonna get that? Oh, I got it. A pot of purple pansies? And mine haven't bloomed yet. And I can steal it while I'm handing them over. Damn it. Oh, fuck. What is it, Mr. Wallace? I need that tea bag. I'm On your titties. No tea the titty right. tea bag. Uh, oh, there. Where? Oh, uh, uh, sitting, um. Sitting? On your, um. Uh, my. Your jubblies. Uh, um. My what? Uh, um, uh, the man is quite mystifying sometimes. Oh, come on, Wallace, just say it. It's 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 right in front of your eyes. What is? <laughs> the tea bag. Tea bags again, Mr. Wallace? If you just look <laughs> down, Miss Flit. <laughs> Fuck no, I want to hear Wallace and Jug so much. Down, Wallace, until this silliness passes. You're not making any sense. She has massive breasts, Gromit. It's on your jugs! <clears throat> Tea bags again, Mr. Wallace? No. <laughs> no. Fuck, how am I gonna get that? Uh. Damn it. I'm gonna see if I can go get that hat. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna get the hat, but. Maybe. Do I still have the, the plants? And to what do I owe the pleasure of this return visit? It does gleam in the sun, your helmet. Don't it just. I give it a right good clean this morning. Okay. Take the helmet, please. What? Yes, indeed. Actually, I'd rather not. So I need to do something with that helmet. I need to be able to grab it or, or, or get him to do something else. I, but I'm not 100% sure at the moment. Uh, it's gonna be something to do with that puddle, right? Like, God, that looks scary. Uh, something about this. Wonder if the landlord would be interested in. Yeah. Hey, up, Wallace, love. How's business? Well, maybe she has something to say. So, Wallace, in the honey business now, I hear. Yeah, oh, great. You've heard the buzz, have you? <laughs> oh, oh, indeed I have. It's all over town. That'll never get off the ground. Stupid idea, if you ask me. And nobody did. Couldn't get honey out of a honey jar, that one! 
Excuse my husband. He's a right miserable. Not a husband like image. It's just a fucking window. <laughs> so, might you be interested in signing up for my honey deliveries, Mrs. Gavily? Fresh daily. Ooh, I should say so. I'm partial to a spot of honey for my tea. Where's the money? We'll never see honey for tea or breakfast, for that matter. Oh, shut up, you! Ah, uh, Wallace knows what he's doing. He's got a head for business. Is that a head? I took it for a parsnip. <sighs> Pay him no mind. If you'd like to sample my honey, Mrs. Gabbley, there'll be a free tasting tonight at Mr. Paneer's Tea and Crumpet Festival. Oh, is that so? Well, I'll have to pop by. I wouldn't bother. He'll never make the delivery. Your husband seems a trifle miffed. Don't fret, Pat. He's always miffed about something. Damn, bro, he destroyed Wallace. Do you know, Chuck? I'm. Uh, all right. Ha! You. Okay. I think that's all that's going to happen around there. Uh, someone's at the top of the mailbox. <laughs> Take the shot, Gromit. Uh, mailbox, mailbox, mailbox. Oh, the mailbox in town? You mean? Gonna go. Was there something on the top of the mailbox? Ah, Mr. Vollens. Oh, to piss off. There's, there's nothing on top of the mailbox. I don't know what you saw. Now that's a fine-looking post box. It would make a good chassis for my honey-powered vacuumatic, but that's tomorrow's project. Yeah, no, that's not anything. Uh, let's get back home. Uh, I need a hat or something. Maybe upstairs? Maybe in the kitchen? Maybe. Oh, no. Upstairs. Need an edgy reboot of Boston Crown. Pull the trigger, Gromit! End it! Uh, it's, uh, no, there's nothing here. The beehive delivers the hat? It could be. Uh, but it's like attached with a hinge. I, I don't think, I don't think it will be. The bin the lid. Mighty warrior return. Yeah, great. Wonderful. Uh, give it a go. Can oh, you maybe it is. Above? Gad, how I wish I were back in the fight. Ouch! What did you expect, Wallace? You can't snatch a soldier's helmet like that. Aye, uh, well, 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 I you are correct, Core of Envy. My work. And here we go. Yoink! And then we have the helmet. I thought you might find this useful, Major Crumb. A helmet? Why, George Wallace, there's nothing like a good helmet. Makes a fellow want to put himself in the path of projectiles. If you know what I mean. Good heavens. I shouldn't be skulking around in a cellar like a frightened rat. I'm a soldier by thunder. Private Gromit, I hereby appoint you officer commanding this air raid shelter. Here, you pass out the rations. I've got a war to win. Charge! I can finally get my fucking bar without having to worry about him throwing now it down my get throat. Get my hands on a protein bar. Gromit. <laughs> <laughs> serious, Gromit? Are you fucking kidding me? Request dispensation of protein bars, uh, soldier. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, now I finally have a protein bar. Okay, now we just gotta find some way to get that tea bag off the woman's titties. To get the tea bag off her titties. That is what we will do. Plans are proceeding apace, Gromit. Just a few kinks to work out, and we'll soon be up to our necks in honey. Carry on. Okay. 
So we will be. But. <laughs> what if Gromit Force speeds you all too? <laughs> it's gotta be something I can use to like distract her or. Closed up shop for the day, have you? Hmm. What a stroll. Well, the, well the, the soldier guy must have left at some point and gone somewhere, so... Swim for all the rings. We'll find him somewhere. Maybe he'll give me something. Uh, thanks for the donation, Bone Man! Man, takes... Uh, uh... Oh. Are we back? 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 Are we properly back? Please, I hope it didn't end the stream. It didn't end the stream, did it? It didn't? Oh, thank god. Oh. Oh, god. I was just gonna end it there. Oh, okay. Uh, I need to refresh my, uh, chat. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Major Crumb, why did you shoot down the satellite for Radical Soda's internet? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! We're back. We're back. All right. Wait, when did I leave? Was it? Was it? Was it at the point I opened this door? Still trying to figure out how to get this lady to give me the tea bag. You've come buzzing back, Mr. Wallace, as a bee to a blossom, eh? <clears throat> tea bags again, Mr. Wallace? No. No. It's gonna, it's gonna be the pansies, right? It's gotta be. A pot of purple pansies, and mine haven't Thanks, bloomed yet. Thanks, Corvindy. Major Chrome Attack of 5G Tower. Yours haven't bloomed yet. Perhaps you'd like to give the purple pansies a sniff. You'd have to uh, lean over, of course, but ah. I see no point in leaning over and sniffing my purple pansies. I'm giving them the cold shoulder until they decide to shape up and bloom for me. Okay. So what if I... <laughs> Miss Flit, if you'll just take a look at the pansies, I think you'll... I told you, Mr. Wallace. I refuse to let those yellow hooligans have the satisfaction of... Oh, purple. You see? They're mending their ways. Yellow hooligans. They just needed a firm talking to, that's all. Mother forgives you, you naughty little pansies. Sweet satisfaction, Mr. <sighs> Wallace. Yes, indeed. Very sweet. We've done it. We've done it, everybody. If it disconnects again, I'm just gone. But uh, we've got all the ingredients. Now we just need to get back downstairs from it and put everything together. Did I forget to carry nine? No, everything's in order. If we're going to make that honey delivery, we're going to need a lot more flowers. Oh, right, upstairs. Probably, is it? I check I'd better this. double check the recipe. Yes, that's the lot. Protein, energides, and strongium. Everything I need to whip up a tip top growth formula. Hey, hey. Uh, great. You know, it could be Wallace that this doesn't actually work. You do realize. Like, it could, it could, like, usually these things don't work. I'm just saying. Uh, so I have to put this all in the thing I'm assuming it's, you know protein bar and... I could mix the growth formula here but my trusty mix or matter ah is... yes of course but of course is it mix or matter mix or matic all right <laughs> Well, this is such a dilf. No. No, not Wallace. I don't even want to imagine that Wallace has a penis. 
just not. One unit of energized fluid for a creamy finish. Ugh. Creamy finish. I didn't want Wallace to say that either. One generous chunk of protein to give it texture. He just threw a battery into the fucking. It One was... dose of strongium into the mix. <laughs> He's gonna drink to battery acid and fucking protein bar formula. and a tea bag. Wallace, this is... I mean, he's not going to drink it, thank God, but I don't think it'll be good for the flowers. To do it. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, the all mixed up. Great. Stop. Stop. Thanks, Bone Man. Help. It. Oh, thanks, lad. Well, checking to see if anything's sprouted yet, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Miss Flit. Yeah, just drop it all in that one spot. Really? I don't see what you're hoping to. <gasps> oh, I don't believe it. It works. It works. The homemade quick grow miracle muscle formula works. We're in business now. You see, Gromit, look where a bit of enterprise can get you. If I hadn't found that flyer you chucked in the bin, I'd never have been able to concoct my miracle grow formula. Well, and no, it came through the mail be? slot. You really must be careful what you chuck out, you know? Uh, Lincoln, Nora. Oh, my word. I think I'm going to faint. Well, this ought to be plenty of fuel for the old pollinator. I would assume so. Maybe not for 50 gallons, but. Well, he's chucked it in his pants, I guess. Here we go. What the fuck is lean? What is lean? Everyone's saying garden lean? What is lean? It's a drink? It's a purple drink? Purple drank drug. It's a drug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get my drug flowers, put them in. Oh, I've still got more growth formula. Nice. This is definitely gonna make the bees large, isn't it? Ah! Oh, here we go. Champion, that is. 50 gallons of honey and just in time for my annual tea and crumpet festival. Well, that was simple. Pleasure doing business and with you. And on this brothers. day, Radical sort of looks up lean while playing Wallace and Gromit. Bees. That's the last of our bills, Gromit. And we've got just about enough left over for that little holiday we've been planning. This year, I fancy Blackpool. Oh, oh yes, lad. I think our money troubles are over at last. Air raid! Air raid! Petals, oh potions everywhere! Not this again. Excellent vantage point. Prepare for a crash landing, you devils! Sorry, Wallace, but I'm going to have to come near your dining room. Hold no, still, you minute, devil! No time to argue, old man. The whole town's under bombardment. But here they come! Ah! An egg from it. Giant bees. Heaven help the good citizens of West Wallaby Street. Civilians out. But that's an order, Wallace. Private Gromit, kindly escort this civilian from the battle zone. <laughs> oh, it's time for Gromit. That's right, soldier. Touch my booty! Name. My booty's not to be touched. Oh shit. Bullseye. No, I most certainly missed. Got him! Oh, Peter's A to you, sir! Oh, that got away! Back in the air! Blast it! Blast it! Devil blast! Kill the fucking squirrel! Got him! Most another 
Founder! Got the blatter! Got him! Nice. Blast and double blast! Uh. No, 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 I want you to go forward. Back in the air! Blast it! I'm assuming this is also a puzzle. Capture a B, alright. I don't know what that did. Okay, more acorns. So he comes out. He wants the acorn. Uh Oh, here we go. Back in the air, blasted! Confound it! Stop it, bitch. Get... Into the dustbin of history for you, my nice. friend. Nice. All right, now get rid of the last one. Uh, I got one in there. Bullseye. He's in the water. I do... Oh, here we go. Oh, I have to hit it with the cricket bat. Oh, but I can use the tennis racket. Keep the faith, soldier. West Wallaby Street needs you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good heavens, Gromit. You don't suppose those monsters have anything to do with our honey-making operation, do you? Bumbling egg. What's up, bro? My quick grow formula. <laughs> it didn't just affect the flowers. Oh. Just hope it's a wrong number and not more bad news. As long as I don't run away from all the bees. Yeah, yeah, wow. That just literally just stabbed her. Okay. Alright, we got this. Uh, okay. We use the tennis racket on this. Bam. Alright, here we go. Oh, they roll out again. Son of a bitch. It's fine. We know exactly what to do. I told you not to fuck the bees, Gromit. Look what you've made. <laughs> Why does Wallace sound like a deeper, slightly British shaggy? Private Gromit, it's looking good like Gromit. out there. We gotta get these bees. Good man, Private Gromit. Yeah, 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 yeah. How oh, bee does to you, sir? Acorns, yep. I don't know what the acorns Back are meant to. Air, I don't know what the acorns are meant to be doing, but. Got the blatter. Blast! Yeah, not the Double blatter. blast! That also works, I guess. Bullseye. Oh, there we go. I'm assuming that works. Uh. Into the dustbin of history for you, my friend. And then the last one should be this. Oh, I've already got that one. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> right where he belongs. Ah, the okay. Fiend. If you see that, ha, blew him right out of the sky. That'll teach him. A thrilling sight for you, Private Gromit. Why, Don't bees I die when they like sting? Not always, it depends. Calls for a celebration, Private. Meet you in the mayor's so, Twitter. Uh, when a bee stings, it can get the stinger back out and live. Um... If it can't, then obviously, you know, the stinger fucking, like, the back of its body literally wrenches off and, you know. Um. But a bee that large? It will have no problem, like, stabbing you in the gut and then pulling it out. Like. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty big fucking bee. Let's see, is this on major, major flow? Nope, we're all out of honey. It's too bad. Done with some right now. 
This is making me want, like, some honey. this is, is there still a bee on here there is <laughs> okay is he doing it with it wait that's a bee on there there are, there's a bee pattern on he's doing it with it with a fake bee jesus he's got a 2d girlfriend 2d bee girlfriend uh all right let's see uh where do i need to go oh yes yeah, wallace was on the phone so let's go see what he's doing what's up wallace yes, mr Panier. Well, of course you're upset. Being dive-bombed by giant bees isn't good for any business. We're doing all we can to get the situation under control. What's with the Normal audio? Normal honey That's... service will be resumed as soon as possible. With normal-sized bees. That's a promise. There's a giant fly in the soup, lad. And it's shaped like a bee. They're taking over the town. Time to read the riot act. I am their employer, after all. Okay. Uh. I'm assuming oh. it didn't work. No. Oh! You won't listen. They're completely out of control. This funny business has a sting in the tail and no mistake. Oh dear. No! Do something for me! Hello, from B to. Oh, Constable Dibbins. Ah, Mr. Gabble here. Mr. Gabble here. I ain't much good at eating you know, old pie. But I spoke at a turn yesterday. You're not a daft apers after all. What I said to you, I'll take it all back. You're a credit to the town. Just a minute. What's this? Ah! Giant, giant oh pig and bees. There's only one thing can move round here. What could have caused this? Well, great. Quick, grab the crackers, Gromit. We gotta get out of here. No, all right. Careful with the auto flip frying pan, lad. The timer mechanism is very delicate. It's the audio it's popping. To spring at odd moments. Yeah. Yes. Fuck. What, what am I doing? Constable Dippins tells me the West Wallaby gang has been neutralized. Is that your work, lad? Clever work. I don't know what that means. What's that, Constable? Oh, oh the, the bees. Yes. I'll tell him. He reckons you should take care of the bees in town if you're up to the challenge. He's downtown, not in town. Well, well, all, all right. I'm going downtown. Oh. Thank you so Oh. I will take that. And I'll take the map. Thank you. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. Nothing there? No? Right, anything downstairs is the question. Okay, uh, Gromit doesn't want to go any further, and for that I understand. Oh. Ugh. Is there any cheese around here? Any Rotterdam around? The game just... Oh, the fucking... The mouse, the mouse doesn't like stay on the game, so I accidentally clicked out. I'm assuming there's no cheese around. I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to find it. What my guess is is that I'm gonna have to go back into town, somehow grab that uh, cheese in the uh, uh, police station, and come back. That's what I'm. 
That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Oh, we got 15 bucks! Thank you, Silver Sacrifice! I have no clue what I walked into, but bees. Oh wait, shit, I never turned on text to speech. I'm so sorry. I have it up there, five dollars plus, text to speech, but I never turned it back on by accident. It just, it just was there. Hang on, I'll fix that right now. <laughs> My apologies, everybody. Uh, uh, enabled. There we go. That's that done. And yeah, super chats as well. Okay, enabled. All right. Okay, all right. Now, you know what, though? I think this is a good place to leave it. Uh, oh, what the hell happened to my webcam? Uh, there we go. <laughs> I think this is a good place to leave it. Uh, I'd like to play this again next week. This has been pretty fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait, Wallace's clothes were outside the basement that implies he took it off before going in. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what happened. Like, he got stung? And, but his clothes fell off? I don't, I don't get it. Alright. Thanks everybody for joining. Uh, I'm gonna try to do slightly smaller streams for a few days because uh, I have uh, a lot of work to do. I'm gonna be doing reporting today, so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on today anyway. Uh, Alright. Uh, so thank you all for coming along. Uh, let's... Oh shit, I didn't do... I didn't do meme of the day. Fuck. Uh, give me... A <laughs> didn't do stream... Forgot to... Forgot to do it. Oh, god damn it. Uh, hang on, I'll find one. I'll find one. Uh... Uh, uh, shit. Um... It's not on the... It's the... It's a streaming... You know, now my Windows Explorer isn't responding, that's great. That's how to stream, uh, stream meme images. Uh, uh, um, oh, here we go. Here's a good one. Uh, that's not correct. <laughs> uh, outro? There we go. There we go. I just gotta, um, change the meme. Meme of the day. Properties. Change. And there it is. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know why it was cropped. <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. And let's put on the credits. Uh, along with the music of Wallace and Gromit. I clicked. I clicked credits. Roll credits. Oh, here we go. Thanks for watching! Uh, do they did MBL 1UP, and Bone Man, and Island Man 76, and Florence, and George, and Tezuka 101, and the Core of Envy, Bone Man, Silver Sacrifice. Uh, thank you to Chase, Crazy Gunner, and Elder Kittlegan for subscribing. And thank you to Bucko, Pico, Dynamic Deadpool, Dr. 222, that derp guy for renewing slash being a member. Thank you guys very much, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.